Automotive production is a significant industry in Russia, directly employing around 600,000 people or 1% of the country's total workforce. Russia produced 1,303,989 vehicles in 2016, ranking 16th among car-producing nations in 2016, and accounting for 1.4% of the worldwide production. The main local brands are light vehicle producers Avtovats and Gaz, while Kamaz is the leading heavy vehicle producer. Eleven foreign carmakers have production operations or are constructing their plants in Russia. History Early history The Russian Empire had a long history of progress in the development of machinery. As early as in the 18th century Ivan I Polzanov constructed the first two-cylinder steam engine in the world, while Ivan P. Kulibin created a human-powered vehicle that had a flywheel, a brake, a gearbox, and roller bearings. One of the world's first tracked vehicles was invented by Fyodor A. Blinov in 1877. In 1896, the Yakovlev engine factory and the Freeze Carriage Manufacturing Workshop manufactured the first Russian petrol engine automobile, the Yakovlev and Freeze. The turn of the 19th and 20th centuries was marked by the invention of the earliest Russian electrocar, nicknamed the Cuckoo, which was created by the engineer Hippolyta V. Romanov in 1899. Romanov also constructed a battery electric omnibus. In the years preceding the 1917 October Revolution, Russia produced a growing number of Russo Bolt, Puzyryov, Lesna, and other vehicles, held its first motor show in 1907, and had car enthusiasts who successfully participated in international motor racing. A Russo Bolt car placed ninth in the Monte Carlo Rally of 1912. Despite the extreme winter conditions that threatened the lives of the driver and riding mechanic on their way from St. Petersburg, second in the San Sebastian Rally and covered more than 15,000 km in Western Europe and Northern Africa in 1913. The driver of the car, André P. Nagel, was personally awarded by Emperor Nicholas II for increasing the prestige of the domestic car brand. By 1915, about 1,000 motor vehicles had been built in Russia. Imported vehicles vastly exceeded domestic production, with the latter accounting for less than 10% of total stock by 1914. In February 1916, the Tsarist government allocated funds for the construction of six automotive plants Ammo in Moscow, Russo Balt in the village of Philly, the state plant of military self propelled vehicles KZVS in Mitishchi, Russian Renault in Rybinsk, Aksai in Nakhichevan on Don, and Lebedev in Yaroslavl. None of the plants were completed before the October Revolution. Topic Soviet era After the 1917 October Revolution, Russo Bolt was nationalized on August 15, 1918, and renamed to Prombron by the new leadership. It continued the production of Russo Bolt cars and launched a new model on October 8, 1922, while Ammo built Fiat 15 Tur trucks under license and released a more modern Fiat derived truck developed by a team of Ammo designers, the Ammo F 15. About 6,000 to 6,500 F 15s were built in the years 1924 to 1931. In 1927, engineers from the Scientific Automobile and Motor Institute NAMI created the first original Soviet car NAMI I, which was produced in small numbers by the Spartak State Automobile Factory in Moscow between 1927 and 1931. In 1929, due to a rapidly growing demand for automobiles and in cooperation with its trade partner, the Ford Motor Company, the Supreme Soviet of the National Economy established GAZ. A year later, a second automobile plant was founded in Moscow, which would become a major Soviet car maker after World War II and earn nationwide fame under the name Moskvich. 
The beginning of the 1960s saw the release of the Moskvich 408, intended to be an economy car that would spread the use of cars among the population. Other manufacturers such as MZMA, Gaz and Zaz were offering a variety of cars intended for the mass market. The Soviet government opted to build an even larger car manufacturing plant that would produce a people's car and help to meet the demand for personal transport. For reasons of cost efficiency, it was decided to produce the car on the basis of an existing, modern foreign model. After considering several options, the Fiat 124 was chosen because of its simple and sturdy design, being easy to manufacture and repair. The plant was built in just four years 1966 to 1970 in the small town of Stavropol Voltsky, which later grew to a population of more than half a million and was renamed Toliati to commemorate Palmiro Toliati. At the same time, the Ijmash car plant was established in the city of Izhevske as part of the Izhevske mechanical plant, with the initiative coming from the Minister of Defense and in order to increase the overall production of cars in the Soviet Union. It produced Moskvichs and Moskvich-based combi hatchbacks. Kamaz, Europe's largest heavy truck plant, was built in Nabarezhny Chelny, while Gaz, ZIL, Uralaz, KRAZ, Maz, Balaz, and plants continued to produce other types of trucks. By the early 1980s, Soviet automobile industry consisted of several main plants, which produced vehicles for various market segments. In late 1987, the industry produced 2 million cars, satisfying 45% of the domestic demand. <laughs> Post-Soviet adjustments In the early 1990s the Russian car market expanded dramatically, largely due to a drastic cut on import duties, so that by 1993 foreign-made imported cars made up 49% of all sales. At the same time, Russian automakers were integrated into a market economy and immediately hit by a crisis due to the loss of financial support, economic turmoil, criminal activities and stiffer competition in the domestic market during the 1990s. The main domestic manufacturers in the early 1990s were Avtovats, AZLK, Izavtu, Gaz and UAZ. Some of them, like Avtovats, turned to cooperation with other companies such as GM Avtovats in order to obtain substantial capital investment and overcome the crisis. By 1993, total output was down 14% compared to 1990 levels. Lada's declining sales during the 1990s, and toughening European Union emissions requirements, saw exports to Western Europe discontinued by the end of the decade. Lada had enjoyed particularly strong sales in Britain, peaking at more than 30,000 sales a year in the late 1980s, but had failed to remain competitive with other budget brands over the subsequent few years. 850,000 cars were sold in 1996. As demand kept rising, local brands continued to be affected by a reputation for poor manufacturing quality. It was estimated in 1996 that a newly bought Avtovats car needed $1-2000 worth of repairs to bring it to a comfortable level of safety. The 1998 Russian financial crisis affected the industry as car manufacturers stopped using imported components because of higher import prices. Nevertheless, the industry quickly recovered in subsequent years. In 1997, car production increased by 13.2% in comparison with 1996 and achieved 981,000. Avtovats and UAZ extended their output by 8.8 .8 and 52% respectively, whereas Kamaz doubled it. The overall truck production in Russia increased by 7%, reaching 148,000 in 1997 and 184,000 in 2000. 
The overall production of cars rose from about 800,000 in 1993 to more than 1.16 million in 2000, or 965,000 according to OICA excluding commercial vehicles. Throughout the 1990s, the unavailability of dealer financing meant that cars had to be purchased in cash. Topic 2000 to 2008. In the early 2000s, the Russian economy recovered. Russian metal companies, having achieved significant profits on foreign markets, sought to invest in Russia's automotive sector. Siberian Aluminum initially bought Pavlovo Bus Factory and accumulated increasing ownership stakes in Gaz. At the same time, Sevastal gained control of UAZ. In 2001, Ford became the first Western manufacturer to establish its own assembly plant in Russia, investing $150 million in their V Sevolosk factory, manufacturing the Ford Focus, which briefly became the best selling foreign branded car in Russia. In 2003, Russian manufacturers still accounted for over 90% of car production in Russia, either under their own brand or in partnership with a foreign company. The six main automotive groups were Avtovats, Sok Group, Kamaz, Ruspromavtu, Sevastalivtu and AZLK. Just 11,000 cars were locally assembled by foreign manufacturers in 2002. Macroeconomic trends were strong and growing incomes of the population led to a surging demand, and by 2005 the Russian car market was booming. In 2005, 1,446,525 new cars were sold, including 832,200 Russian models and 614,325 foreign ones. During the first quarter of 2005, foreign branded cars outsold local ones for the first time in Russian history, including used imports. Foreign companies started to massively invest in production in Russia. The number of foreign cars produced in the Russian Federation surged from 157,179 in 2005 to 456,500 in 2007. To keep up with the competition, local brands launched more modern-looking models, such as Lada Kalina. The value of the Russian market grew at a brisk pace, 14% in 2005, 36% in 2006 and 67% in 2007—making it the world's fastest-growing automotive market by 2008. Foreign companies started flocking to enter Russia in the 2000s, seeing it as a local production location and export powerhouse. Russia's labor, material and energy costs were only one-sixth compared to those in Western Europe. To boost the market share of locally produced vehicles, the Russian government implemented several protectionist measures and launched programs to attract foreign producers into the country. In late 2005, the Russian leadership enacted legislation to create special economic zones (SEZ) with the aim of encouraging investments by foreign automotive companies. The benefits of operating in the special economic zones include tax allowances, exemption from asset and land taxes, and protection against changes in the tax regime. Some regions also provide extensive support for large investors over $100 million, these include St. Petersburg, Leningrad Oblast Toyota, GM, Nissan, and Kaluga Oblast VW. Kaluga has been especially successful in attracting foreign companies, as has been Kaliningrad Oblast. <laughs> Global financial crisis. Russia's automotive industry was hit hard by the late 2000s recession. Production of passenger cars dropped from 1,470,000 units in 2008 to just 597,000 units in 2009. 
lorry production fell from 256,000 to 91,000 in the same period. In late 2008, the Russian government introduced protectionist measures, worth $5 billion, to improve the situation in the industry. This included $2 billion of bailouts for troubled companies and $3 billion of credits for buyers of Russian cars. Prime Minister Vladimir Putin described the move as vital in order to save jobs. The tariffs for imported foreign cars and trucks were increased to a minimum of 50% and go up to 100%. The tariffs are linked to the engine size of the vehicle. The increased duties led to protests in Russian cities, most notably in Vladivostok, where the importation of Japanese cars is an important sector of the city's economy. To compensate for the losses of the Vladivostok businesses, Prime Minister Putin ordered the car manufacturing company Solars to move one of its factories from Moscow to Vladivostok. The move was completed in 2009, and the factory now employs about 700 locals. It was planned to produce 13,200 cars in Vladivostok in 2010. The most efficient anti crisis measure executed by the Russian government was the introduction of a car scrappage scheme in March 2010. Under the scheme, buyers of new cars could receive a subsidy of up to 600,000 rubles, 20,000 United States dollars. Sales of Russia's largest carmaker Avtovats doubled in the second quarter of 2010 as a result, and the company returned to profit. Topic: <laughs> Recent developments. By the end of 2010, automotive production had returned to pre-crisis levels. Nine out of the ten most sold models in Russia in 2010 were domestically produced, with Avtovats's Lada models topping the list. In the first seven months of 2010, sales of Lada cars increased by 60%, the Korean Kia reported a jump of 101%, and Chevrolet's sales rose by 15%. In 2010, Russia was the world's 15th largest producer of cars. The Russian automotive industry currently as of 2010 accounts for about 2% of worldwide car production. The market share of Russian branded vehicles fell to 34% in 2010 and to 21% in 2012. At the same time, the market share of foreign branded cars made in Russia kept rising, reaching 45% in 2012. Imported vehicles account for a sizable portion of the Russian automotive market. In 2014, they made up 27% of cars and 46% of trucks. The 2014 economic crisis led to a new fall in car sales and production levels, and reduced forecasts for future growth. The number of cars on Russian roads reached 40,629,200 in 2016. Lada cars accounted for 34.6% of the total, down from 41.6% five years earlier. Almost half of those cars were over 10 years old, and the single most popular car model was still the classic Lada Riva. Manufacturers <inaudible> 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 The Russian automotive industry can be divided into four types of companies, local brand producers, foreign OEMs, joint ventures and Russian companies producing foreign brands. In 2008, there were 5,445 companies manufacturing vehicles and related equipment in Russia. The volume of production and sales amounted to 1,513 billion rubles. Cars with diesel engines are not popular in Russia, accounting for just 7.6% of all sales as of 2015, compared to half of the market in much of Western Europe. There are 145,000 natural gas vehicles in Russia as of 2016, or 0.3% of all vehicles in the country. The sale of leaded gasoline was outlawed in 2003. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Domestic car brands. 
The four most popular cars in Russia in 2009 were all Avtovats models. The economy car Lada Priora topped the list with 84,779 sold units. Lada Samara was second with 77,679 units sold in Russia, and the classic Lada 2105-2107 was third with sales of 57,499. Lada 2105 was expected to considerably increase sales following the car scrappage scheme launched in March 2010. The higher-end Lada Kalina was the fourth most sold car in Russia in 2009, selling 52,499 units that year. In the light commercial vehicle sector, the Gazelle van, manufactured by Gaz, has been very popular, occupying a market share of 49% in 2009 and selling 42,400 units. The Avtoperevochik magazine declared Gazelle as the most successful vehicle of 2009 in the Russian automotive market. The largest company of Russia's automotive industry is Avtovats, located in the city of Tolyaty. It currently employs more than 130,000 people, and its Lada models dominate the Russian car market. Avtovats models account for about 50% of Russia's total car production. Russian car manufacturing companies are represented by two associations, ASM Holding, ASM Holding and the Association of Russian Automakers. Abedinanium Avtoproizvodite Ledger. Topic: Formula 1 Foreign car brands. Russia's second largest car manufacturer is Avtotor, located in Kaliningrad Oblast. Avtotor performs SKD, CKD or full cycle assembly of foreign models, such as BMW, Kia, and General Motors Cadillac and Chevrolet vehicles. In 2009, Avtotor produced 60,000 cars and accounted for 10% of Russian car production. Avtoframos, the third largest car manufacturer, produced 49,500 cars in 2009. Its plant is located in the southeast part of the city of Moscow. Avtoframos is a joint venture between France's Renault and the Moscow City Administration, but is majority owned by Renault. The company manufactures Renault Logan and Renault Sandero models. The ratio of Russian-made parts is 54%. The figure was expected to rise to 74% by 2012. The fourth and fifth largest car makers in Russia are Volkswagen and Ford, respectively. In total, the five largest companies of the industry account for 80% of all cars made in Russia. In 2016, Hyundai Solaris became the first foreign branded car to be the best selling vehicle in the country since sales statistics began in 1970. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Commercial and heavy vehicles. In the heavy vehicle sector, the largest company is the truck maker Kamaz. It is also one of the largest companies in the whole Russian automotive industry. In 2010, Kamaz sold a total of 32,293 trucks, 28,254 in Russia and 4,039 in foreign countries. Another very important company is Gaz, which makes vans, trucks, and buses, among other products. Its most popular product is the Gazelle van, which has a market share of 49% in the light commercial vehicle market. In 2009, the company launched an improved version, called Gazelle Business. In the bus sector, the Gaz Group bus division occupied a market share of 77%. In 2009 it sold 6,169 buses in the small class, 1,806 in the medium class and 1,156 in the large class, Russia's largest tractor maker, and one of the largest machine building companies in the world, is Concern Tractor Plants, located in Cheboksary. 
The company employs around 45,000 people. Short-lived projects The Marussia brand, produced by Marussia Motors, became the first modern sports car and the first supercar produced in Russia. The Marussia B1 was launched on 16 December 2008 in the new Manez Hall in Moscow. On 10 September 2010 the first Marussia Motors showroom opened in Moscow. Marussia Motors was led by Nikolai Fomenko, a notable Russian showman, singer, actor and racer. His company acquired a significant stake in the Virgin Racing Formula One team, which was renamed Marussia Virgin Racing from 2011. This team is to become the first ever Russian-owned team in Formula One. Marussia Motors declared bankruptcy and ceased both support for their F1 team and overall trading in 2014. Another short-lived project was the Yo Mobile, a city car that could burn both gasoline and natural gas and was connected to a pair of electric motors. The car was introduced on 13 December 2010 in Moscow, a product of a joint venture between Yarovit, a producer of trucks based in St. Petersburg, Russia and the Onyxim Investment Group, headed by Mikhail Prokhorov, who was the leader and financier of the project. In 2014 the entire project was sold to the Russian government for a nominal sum, thus signaling the abandonment of the idea. No actual vehicles other than a few concept cars were ever produced. Economic and political significance Russia's automotive industry is a significant economic sector. It directly employs 600,000 people and supports around 2 to 3 million people in related industries. It is politically a very important part of the country's economy, firstly, due to the large number of employed people and secondly, because many citizens depend on the social services provided by automotive companies. For example, the well-being of the giant Avtovats factory in Tolyaty is massively important to the city or to the region of Samara Oblast. Tolyaty is a typical monotown, a city whose economy is dependent on a single company. The factory employed around 100,000 people of the city's population of 700,000 in 2009. In 2009, former President Dmitry Medvedev launched the Medvedev Modernization Program, which aims to diversify Russia's raw materials and energy dominated economy, turning it into a modern high tech economy based on innovation. Following this, Russia's automotive industry has been in the spotlight due to its great potential for modernization. Former Prime Minister and current President Vladimir Putin has taken a personal interest in the automotive industry. In a symbolic gesture of support, Putin made a highly publicized road trip on the new Amur Highway in August 2010, driving 2,165 km in a Lada Kalina Sport. Putin described the car as, "...excellent, even beyond my expectations," and praised it as, "...comfortable," and "...almost noise-free." The event was intended to show support for Avtovats, which was recovering from the serious economic crisis. <laughs> <laughs> Sales statistics Top 10 manufacturers and car models on the Russian market according to AEB sales figures for 2016 Topic: Manufacturers. Topic: Car models. Topic: Best-selling model by year. Topic: Factories. 
Topic St. Petersburg and Leningrad Oblast Hyundai, established in 2010, produced over 200,000 vehicles in 2016. As of 2016 the plant is the second largest in Russia, and employs 2,200 workers. Nissan, started production in June 2009, produced 33,600 vehicles in 2015. Toyota, manufactured 39,000 vehicles in 2016. Toyota Motors Manufacturing Russia TMMR, 224 Ha factory in Shusheri laid down in 2005 and launched production on December 21, 2007. In 2007 it produced 20,000 2.4L and 3.5L Toyota Camry vehicles per year. General Motors, opened in July 2008, closed in 2015. Scania AB, truck plant Scania Pitta, established in 2002. Produces Scania P, R, G man truck and bus truck plant, established in 2013. Ford Solars in Vsevolosk, opened in 2002. It was the first foreign owned car plant to be established in Russia. Caterpillar Inc. in Tosno, established in 2000, produces rigid dump trucks. Kaluga Volkswagen, started production in November 2007, produced 110,000 cars in 2016. A 200 square meters facility with a projected full annual output capacity of 150,000 vehicles, reached during 2010, with employees rising to 3,000. All vehicles produced were initially semi-knockdowns (SKD), with full production planned to start 2010. Served by Gratsevo Airport, part of Volkswagen Group Russia U Volkswagen Rus. Peugeot Citroën Mitsubishi Automotive, opened in April 2010, produced 25,733 vehicles in 2015. Volvo Vostok truck plant in Kaluga, established in 2009. Produces Volvo FH, Volvo FMX, Volvo FM, Renault Premium, Renault Kerix. Volga Federal District Nizhny Novgorod, Gaz, produced 41,691 vehicles in 2015. The plant also Volkswagen and Skoda vehicles due to a partnership between Volkswagen Group Rus and Gaz Group. Toliati Avtovats, produced 356,602 vehicles in 2015. GM Avtovats, produced 34,218 vehicles in 2015. Izhevske, Izavtu Nissan, produced 72,884 vehicles in 2015. Nabarezhny Chelny, Solars, Nabarezhny Chelny, produced 10,000 vehicles in 2015. Yelabuga, Ford Solars, produced 10,300 vehicles in 2015. Nabarezhny Chelny, Kamaz truck plant, also produces Mercedes Benz trucks under a joint venture established in 2010. Produces Mercedes Benz Axor, Mercedes Benz Actros, Mercedes Benz Unimog. Cizren, JBC Truck Plant, established in 2014 on the production facilities of the former Roslada plant. Produces JBC SY1041, JBC SY1060. Rest of Russia Kaliningrad, Avtator, Kia, Hyundai, BMW, produced 92,200 vehicles in 2015. Moscow, Renault Russia, produced 73,633 vehicles in 2015. 
Vladivostok, Solas, Toyota, Mazda, produced 31,823 vehicles in 2015. Cherkask, Derways, Lifen, Geely, Great Wall Hover, Cherry, produced 24,800 cars in 2014. Argon, Chechenavtu, produced 6,700 cars in 2016. Yaroslavl, Komatsu Limited established in 2010, produces rigid dump trucks. Mias, Ivco Truck Plant Ivco AMT, former joint venture Ivco Uralaz established in 1994. Produces Ivco Tracker, Ivco Stralis. Uzlovaya, Great Wall Motors Plant under construction. Esipovo, Moscow Oblast, Mercedes-Benz plant under construction. Lipesk, Lifen plant under construction. Topic: Manufacturers of automobile engines. Avtovats, based in Toliati and established in 1966. Manufactures gasoline engines for passenger cars under the Lada brand. Cummins Karma, based in Nabarezhny Chelny and established in 2006 as a joint venture between Cummins and Kamaz. Manufactures diesel engines for trucks under the Kamaz brand. Ford Solars, engine plant established in 2015. Kamaz, based in Nabarezhny Chelny and established in 1969. Manufactures diesel engines for heavy duty trucks and large buses under the brands KAMAZ, Nefaz, and also for the BTR80. Tutev Motor Plant, TMZ, based in Tutev and established in 1969. Manufactures diesel engines for heavy trucks under the brands MZKT, MZKT 742910, Baz. Ulyanovsk Motor Plant, UMZ, based in Ulyanovsk and established in 1944, part of the Gaz Group. Manufactures gasoline and gasoline gas engines for light commercial vehicles and SUVs under the brands Gaz, Gaz Gazelle, Gaz Sobel, UAZ, UAZ 3151 Military Performance. Volkswagen Group Rus, plant in Kaluga producing 1.6 MPI engines. Yaroslavl Motor Plant Yams, based in Yaroslavl and established in 1916 as Autoworks, 1958 conversion to the production of engines, part of the gas group. Manufactures diesel engines for trucks, small buses, large buses, armored vehicles, armored personnel carriers under the brands Uralaz, Paz, Paz 3205, Paz 4234, Liaz, Liaz 5256, BTR80, Gaz TIGR, AMZ TIGR, Baz, Maz, KRAZ, MZKT, Balaz, younger models with BELAZ 7540-7000. 1547 to BELAZ 7547, MOZ MOAZ 7505. Zavalji Motor Plant ZMZ, based in Zavalji and established in 1958, owned by UAZ. Manufactures petrol and diesel engines for off-road vehicles, light commercial vehicles and small buses under the brands UAZ, PAS, PAS 3203, PAS 3204, PAS 3205. ZIL, based in Moscow and established in 1916. Manufactures gasoline engines for medium trucks under the brands ZIL, ZIL 4331. See also List of automobile manufacturers of Russia